Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear back again here in the Den of Tools. And we're here to answer a question that I get asked all the time, which is, Bear, can you lay out for us the different tool lines that DeWalt has and the batteries that go with them, how they intermingle, what they all are, just basically explain it as if I were a five-year-old because some people find it a bit confusing. They got a lot of stuff out there. Uh, they've tried to adapt with the times. Some cases, some of these did not didn't do so well. And so they've kind of revised them on the fly, if you will. And it's made it a, a tad confusing. So let's take a look at it. Of course, the heart of the system is going to be your 20 volt max. Now, remember, I, I say this all the time. There, there's a reason there's an asterisk behind the max. The max is a marketing term. It's really 18 volts. So when you see like Mil, Mil, Milwaukee and Makita and Ridge, everyone else saying 18 volt. And you got DeWalt and others saying 20 volt max or 20 volt hyper max or 20 volt blah, blah, anything with an asterisk. That's the reason. There's no difference. It's the difference between the peak voltage and the nominal voltage. In fact, it, the marketing term is illegal in many countries. All of Europe has considered it false advertising, and these, they're all called 18 volt over there. So no difference there, but these are the lithium ion. These are the core units that we see all the time. Like if you were to go over to Home Depot and you walk down the aisles, most of the stuff you're going to see there is going to be your typical 20 volt max kind of tools there from the DeWalt lineup. This is everything from drill drivers to impacts to recips, the uh, grinders, the whole nine yards. That's the core of the tool line there. Now, if you want something that's a little bit smaller, they came out with something called the Atomic Line. This is their version of a compact tool that's not quite a 12 volt, all right? They're trying to get close to that 12 volt size, but with the 20 volt power, and on top of that, they're doing it brushless. So these are essentially the same tools, just slightly smaller. I am going to say this. I haven't been impressed by them, especially by the size. They don't seem that much smaller, if you ask me. And the price isn't much smaller either. And some people have had issues saying the power isn't there. I'm not going to say that. I haven't tested them enough to say that. But I can tell you what I hear from other people. Anyway, you're going to want to take a look at this. If you're looking for something that uses the same battery platform as your 20 volt tools, but maybe it's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to use, easier to get into tight places, that's what the atomic line is for. Now, if you really get in, need to get into some tight, uh, <laughs> tight locations, you're going to want to go with the 12 volt. This is their subcompact line. Now they have two 12 volt lines, if you will. They they've been doing 12 volt for some time. These were your basic brush tools. Right, and that's what actually not that one this one right here this is a 12 volt impact quarter inch impact and then they came out with the 12 volt extreme yeah <laughs> like marketing people right anyway what that is is that's a brushless version the revamp of the 12 volt line uses the same batteries uh but it's a, it's they're smaller still they're brushless i've heard good things about them the one thing that I will say that's negative about the 12 volt line from DeWalt is that there's really only a handful of tools in either of the lineups, whether it's the brushed or the brushless, and it makes it hard, you know, to lack a compelling reason to go with it. Uh, all right. And then we also, I'm going to throw this out here because it, somebody's going to bring it up if I don't. There is an 8 volts uh, gyroscope screwdriver that they have there. I think there's another screwdriver that might go with it. Uh, I, I've heard fantastic things about these gyroscopic screwdrivers for the people who use them in the trades. They say they're a lifesaver. They're not cheap. You're looking at over a hundred bucks probably for one of these kits here. Uh, but anyway, I just want to cover that, make sure that we talk about it. But then let's talk about the big boy in the block, the one that gets all the press and all the eyeballs. And that's the 60 volt max power tool lineup. These are big tools for big jobs that the pros do. This is not your weekend warrior stuff. This is when you really need to bring some power in a portable package. And this is why you've got the, the, the 60 volt uh, cordless system here. But they did something is interesting with the battery. They called it flex volt and they call it flex volt for a reason. You see down here, it says 20 volt and 60 volt. What that does is these same batteries can be used on any of the 20 volt DeWalt systems. So if it's the atomic system or it's the regular system, uh, it doesn't matter. You can't, it won't work with the 12 volt system, but any of the of uh, these flex volts can be used on any of the 20 volts or any of the 60 volts. And the way it does is it just changes it from serial to parallel 
in the tool and the tool automatically senses what it gets put into. Now I know there were some reports that you shouldn't use your 20 volt tools with these because they, they will overpower or burn up the tool or something. I, I, I have not seen that myself. I've talked to a lot of people. I had a lot of people comment uh, on my channel saying they've never seen that happen. They don't know what they're talking about. And I'm not saying the people are wrong. I'm just saying that the people, these other people haven't seen that happen. Okay. So I, and, and I would think that if there, if this was a continuing issue that we would have seen a lot more of it. So hopefully it was just a one-off, maybe a bad set of tools or something. Anyway, I think you should be fine. <laughs> Don't, I wouldn't worry about using my 60 volt tools with my 20 volt tools with this battery setup. But that said, you can get some really beefy tools here. This flex volt circuit saw here is one of the best circuit saws you can buy. I, I'm skill, still a skill saw bear at, at heart, but that is a fantastic saw. They got a lot of great tools. Now, one of the things I did notice is you see a whole lot of outdoor power equipment in this. And this is going to become an issue later. We're going to talk about it real quick uh, then. But you see a lot of outdoor power equipment in this line. <laughs> we got this thing. This is, this is the right angle drill. I don't know about you. If you look at this thing, it looks like they just took the head off of a drill press, put a handle on it, and called it a day. This thing is a behemoth. All right. So that's your that's your 60 volt lineup. Now, what if you took two 60 volt batteries, put them on one tool? You'd have 120 volt. And you know what's cool about that? That's the same kind of power that comes out of your wall. Well, Dewalt came out with a 120 volt max cordless double bevel compound sliding miter saw. Yes. This thing has an adapter you can get for it, or if you buy the kit that it comes with, there it is. And it allows you to either run off of two uh, flex volt batteries or put the adapter on, plug it straight into the wall for that unlimited runtime ability. All right, this is a pretty cool setup there. I'd love to see them come out with a table saw and a couple other stationary power tool kind of systems in this. This is all they have right now is the miter saw, but still it's a pretty cool option. Anyway, that's your basic overview. We're going to get some more into the batteries and the uh, and the and how the power tools fit into that battery lineup here. But I just want to tell you, if you're interested, if you like Dewalt, we got the Bear Mug here for you. Yeah, we've talked about this a while in the past, and we're bringing it back. It's in the Teespring store. There's links down below. You can also click on the ones, the little uh, merchandise stuff that shows up below the the window there, and that'll take you to the same store. Anyway, let's talk batteries, okay? So you got the basic 20 volt battery. This is the one that comes in most of the, of the combo kits and stuff like that. It, it's it, whether it's a slim line one like this, that's just got five cells in it, or it's a five amp hour or whatever. If it just says DeWalt on it, this is your basic 20 volt battery. And they do the same thing in the, the 12 volt also. Then you have what are called the XR batteries. Now this is different than the XR tools. The XR tools are brushless. The XR batteries are well, technically brushless. I don't think there's any brushes in them. They're not usually brushes in a battery. That said, the uh, they stand, the XR here stands for extended runtime. So these are essentially premium cells with uh, premium batteries and, and premium tech in them. They give you, now they're claiming 33% longer runtime when used with uh, the brushless tools and that kind of stuff. I Maybe, I, I haven't heard that back and I haven't seen that myself. But it, it definitely are, they're definitely a better uh, level of battery, better quality of battery than you see in the basic uh, DeWalt batteries. Not a fan of the basic DeWalt batteries. These are pretty good batteries. I will say that. And then, of course, then the premium grade, and I should say they also have XR in the 12 volt as well. Now, in the premium grade, we got the DeWalt Flex Volt battery. These are always top of the line cells, top of the line build, top of the line everything. These are fantastic batteries, They're, and the price reflects that. Now, I have seen pictures where it says XR on them, but every time I followed the link to that, it always ended up someplace in uh, in Europe. I don't think they use the XR marketing with these here in the U.S. I think they're just flex volt, and these are gonna, always going to be the top-of-the-line batteries. Now, of course, you can put one of these on your Atomic, but you know, you're going to be giving up that that. Uh, let's say the compactness, if you will, when you do that. But boy, will you get some runtime out of it. Now let's talk about the, the tools that go with these. So we're going to talk about drills because the drills are the basic core tool that almost everyone has when they have cordless power tools. And they've got a wide variety of cordless 20-volt drills. So we've got this thing, which I'm going to be honest with you, 
this is one of the things that makes me mad at Black and not Black and Decker. I, that there's a reason I'm calling it Black and Decker because that's really what this is. This is a Black and Decker grade drill marketed as a Dewalt. Uh, it, it, it's a brush drill. It's been around forever in a day, and it's it. In my opinion, I, I won't say it's. I do want to say it's terrible. It's terrible with then having the name Dewalt on it. It shouldn't have the name Dewalt on it. They shouldn't sell a level drill like this because this is not a professional grade drill, and that's what they sell Dewalt as. And they get a lot of people in with this, going, "Oh, look how affordable we can be." You're not going to be happy with this drill, and uh, I mean, maybe if that's all you need. But the fact of the matter is, you can get less expensive drills, a lot less expensive drills, and not have to pay for that Dewalt name. Now, if you want to go to a real Dewalt quality drill. This is, again, a brushless drill, but it's a much higher quality drill. I'm still not thrilled. This is my favorite drill that they have, but it definitely is in that kind of grade where a pro could use this. Now, they have essentially the same drill in a brushless design here, and you're going to see the way you can tell this is it has the, the white back. You know, it's this 20-volt max with a white back for brushless. Keep an eye on that. Often you see these come out, they're definitely pushed around Christmas time, uh, Black Friday and other uh, big holiday sales events is when you, you see this brush line, brushless, this is kind of the middle of the road. This is, I, I don't know if I quite call, call this the Goldilocks, because yeah, but it, it's, it's definitely better than the other two. And then we got the Atomic. Now remember Atomic is the compact one, again, but we're still in that 20 volt lineup here. Uh, they are brushless, but they're smaller. Again, I, I would read some reviews on it, ask some friends, watch some videos and stuff. I haven't got enough experience with them myself to say that uh, they're good or bad. I'll just say that I would avoid them, but you know, it's your money. You decide where you want to go with this. But I will say if you're going to invest in DeWalt, if you, if you need professional grade tools and you don't need something compact, I, I got to say, you got to go with the XR lineup, XR lineup with XR batteries. That's the combination that you want. Here you have, this is your quintessential professional grade drill, 20 volt max, XR, half inch drill, nice metal chuck, two speed drill, everything you need, five amp hour battery, bag, and the charger. I will say this, when you're looking at combo kits, beware the chargers. Dwalt has a lot of really cheap, really slow chargers. If you're paying for high end, make sure you're getting a charger, probably a fast charger or something like that, because you're getting that five amp hour battery. You don't want a standard or a low speed charger on that thing. But this is a, this is a good quality drill right here. But if you really want to step up your game and get the really high level bang for the buck kind of thing, this is the big boy here. The 20 volt max XR three speed on the tree drill driver with five amp hour battery. This thing's got a just all the bells and whistles to it. it even comes in the plastic blow mold case. Not a fan of it myself. You, you get the brace handle there on it for better control. This thing is a beast of a drill. Of course, the size represents that. So does the price tag, $290. Uh, yeah, you'll find some sales and stuff like that, but you get two 5 amp hour batteries. And that's the thing is, Dwalt batteries ain't cheap, okay? <laughs> They're not. So be prepared for that. Now, if we talk about the FlexVolt stuff, well, yeah, you can use the FlexVolt batteries on all those ones we just talked about. But if you want a 60 volt, you're looking up, you're getting stuff like this or that other one I showed you, <laughs> the drill press head right angle one. This is more of a mud mixer kind of thing or a cement mixer, that kind of thing. This is for mixing up small batch. You're not going to do, you know, 50 gallons of mud with this thing, but it's small batch kind of stuff, stuff that will burn out, you know, a regular motor. You need a heavier grade kind of thing for it. So you're on the job site. You don't have, you know, uh, corded power. You got cordless option here. This will do the job. $350 though. It's a pretty penny there. That's what happens when you go into the, the kind of graded tool. Now, two things I want to cover real quick. These are tool lineups, and I'm covering these because I know someone's going to ask about it and because they're still currently on DeWalt's website for some reason. First thing is the DeWalt 36-volt system. This was a system they tried to come out with a long time ago. Uh, they didn't get a lot of traction with it. Uh, it definitely in that professional grade, you know, higher end kind of stuff. This was probably their first attempt at what eventually became the 60-volt system. Now, they no longer make this. I think they stopped making it about four years ago. It's still on the website. Uh, people have complained that they can't find batteries for it. Now, one thing I am going to say is you can probably still find some batteries for their newer 40-volt max outdoor power equipment system. Those batteries, max is, is the, uh, remember again, the marketing name, 
the nominal power on that would be 36 volts. So guess what? These batteries will work with that 36 volt system if you can find the 40 volt batteries. You're going to have a better chance finding these than you are the other ones. But the reason you're going to have problems finding these as well is because guess what? They just discontinued this one as well. They came out with this whole 40 volt line of system uh, specifically designed aimed at professional outdoor power equipment, landscapers and stuff like that. And then a few years later, they decapped them uh, and told them you got to go. Sorry, you got to go to the FlexVolt system. We're, we're going all in on the FlexVolt. In fact, if you come, this is currently on their website, lists one lawnmower. And if you click, oh, view all, here we go, view all 40 max outdoor power equipment. There, here, we'll find them all now, right? Or I guess we won't. Well, <laughs> there you go. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a heads up about that. I hope that explained all the, the power tool lines for you. You got the 20 volt max, you got the atomic, all using the same battery platform. You can also use the flex volt, of course, on the 20 volt or the 60 volt. And then the 12 volt is kind of off by itself, but you can still use the same batteries from the old 12 volt with the new 12 volt. So if you're already in the 12 volt system and you got batteries or tools lying around, you're not, it's not completely obsolete. You can use some of the newer stuff, even though there isn't as of yet quite a huge selection of tools. Uh, anyway, a lot to cover. If you still have questions, Post them down below. I'll try to read through them all and answer all the ones I can. I hope to help you out. If it did, you know what? Why are, why are you down there? Why don't you chomp the old like button there? Consider subscribing and ringing that bell. Make sure you get all the notifications. Anyway, that's all this bear's got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, come on, say it with me. Shine on.